with the skyline in front of us, a look at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series. Drew Smiley out of the state of Arkansas is on the hill here. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Well, guys, not a big strikeout pitcher here on the mound, so expect to see a lot of balls put in play, defense being very involved. Should be fun to watch. And a strike to even the count. One and one. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. And if there's one thing base dealers don't like, it's when you throw at their legs. Now that's their meal ticket you're messing with. Slider strike three called as the leadoff man is set down looking to open up the ball game. The catcher number 28. Buster Posey comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Well, you know, you hear it all the time because it's true. First pitch strikes are so important. It really changes the complexion of the at-bat for not only the pitcher, but the hitter as well, especially when you've got a good hitter up there. Hit the other way out toward right field. There to take it is Bautista, and he's got it for out number two. Batting third. Ernie Banks will dig in now, and as you can see, he's well over 300 here to start this new campaign. Lofted in the air out to right field. Bautista is under it, and he makes the catch for out number Chris Archer gets the ball for the Indians in this one. What's your tank on him, E.K.? Well, Matty, he, he's looking to knock down that ERA. You see there, he's into the fours, looking to have a little better start than what he's been accustomed to. Jackie Robinson started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0-1. Ground ball left side. Backhanded. And he'll turn and fire a desperation throw to first. And a heck of an effort that time, but the throw's too late, and that'll certainly be scored an infield single to lead off the inning. Justin Upton stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. Yeah, and in a good hitter's park like this one, it's going to be even more important than usual to keep that fastball down. That's right where he's got to be living. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch that time, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly oh, how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. Archer comes set. Here's the 0-2. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Right fielder. Jose Batista will stand in, and he wasn't much of a factor yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the loss. That's yanked into the stand, strike one. Throw over to first, and the runner back easily. Owen oh 1, here it comes. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Owen oh 2. Protecting on Owen oh 2, so we'll do it again. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Alex Rodriguez will stand in as we show you the numbers for his last eight ball games, and he continues to be as hot as anyone on the ball club. High and deep to left center field. Back goes Pagan. Gone! A two-run shot off the bat of Alex Rodriguez. Home run number nine on the year as the Steve Phillies have taken a two to nothing lead. Steve Pierce stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Do you even bother with anything else here? No, I sure wouldn't. As a hitter, you're thinking, look for fast. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. But the fighting strike for. 
Justin Bohr will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Schaefer sprinting after it. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Batting fifth. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. Smiley's ready. Here's the first pitch. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. Bases are empty. One man out. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. Boy, that's a good take there. I don't think I could have laid off that one. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Hit hard up the middle. Nunez comes up with it. Over to the first baseman, Pierce, and there are two gone now. Batting six. Second baseman. Ian Kinsler will dig in now. Couple of hits in five trips to the plate back on Wednesday. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. Shallow center. Schaefer giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Indians go down one, two, three. Michael Franco will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lifted in the air out to right. Bruce giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting seven. Eduardo That's Nunez short will stride in. Eduardo he did his Nunez. part yesterday afternoon as he came through with three hits in the losing effort. Out in front of it, strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. You can hit the low fastball, but you're not going to hit that one up there. You can just forget about it. You've got to make him bring that thing down. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. Throw will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. Jordan Schaefer. Jordan Schaefer takes his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. The 0-1. Now a bunt attempt here. And Posey will get the out at first, but the sacrifice works as planned. Luis. Carrasco will stand in, and you see the average there, up over 300 to start the new season. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. And even though you got a two-run lead, you don't want to be leaving too many guys in scoring position out there. And that could come back to bite you later. Hit hard to short. Oh, look at Banks. The throw. Got him. Oh, love it. Jay Bruce. We'll stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Oh, can't spot the cutter any better than that. Nothing in two now. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0 oh and 2. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Left fielder, Todd Cole. Todd Coe comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Smiley peers in. 1-0 on its way. That evens it up. 1-1. One and one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1-2 and two hole. Hard liner towards short, but right at the shortstop for the second out. Batting ninth, the designated hitter. Yusmani Tomas will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. 
Yeah, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Line drive to left. Upton is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. May get nine straight here to start the ball game. Back to the top of the order now. And in steps a man whose number 42 has been forever retired, Jackie Robinson. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Chopped weakly to the left. Turner's got to get rid of it. A quick out number one. The left fielder, number eight. Justin Upton Justin in now. Upton. He went down looking at his first trip to the plate. Into the windup and the pitch. And this one's Count nowhere one close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Swing and a miss as it's dropped behind the plate. Posey gathers it, but he can't get it there in time. Upton reaches on the strikeout. Oh, man, that just can't happen behind the plate. Settling in now, Jose Bautista. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Looking to bunt here, but he can't connect, and that's the first strike. You know, when I see Jose Bautista at the plate, with that high leg kick and plate coverage, I kind of feel sorry for the pitcher. I mean, this guy's the man up there. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. Throw. Got him, and that's a gorgeous play. The cleanup hitter, Alex Rodriguez, will try things again. He hit that two-run homer his first time. I can't imagine they're going to give him anything to hit this time around. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. And after giving up the home run last time, he's just making sure that guy doesn't get too comfortable up there. I can't say I blame him. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pagan on the run. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Angel Pagan will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And yeah, still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Outside for a ball, 1-1. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Trying to strike him out for the second time. And that misses two and two. Drilled to the right side. And there's a base hit. The first one of the ball game for the Indians. Buster Posey will dig in. The winner of last year's Silver Slugger Award for National League Catchers. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. He just might be up there taking pitches, waiting for that base runner to go, but he's not going to be able to take anymore. On to first, and they get the double play. Bernie Banks. Will come on now, and no sooner did it look like they may have something started than the double play took it all away. And that's especially tough when you figure the part of the lineup they're in. These are the guys you want to have hitting with runners on base. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Smiley gets the sign. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Chop foul at the plate, and we'll do it again. The one and two pitch. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. No runs, just one hit. No errors to this point for the Indians. 
throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Steve Pierce is set to lead us off Leading in the, the home half of the fourth one. inning. And they First jumped out to that one. early lead, Number so now it's all about just adding on. This is line to left, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Well, he's been a little slow out of the blocks here to start the season, but that looks a little better there as this is a sharp base hit. Grounded foul. And he falls behind 0-2. Ready with the 0-2. Got him. Eduardo Nunez stands in. The batter number nine, shortstop, Eduardo Nunez. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, it's hit to third. Five. Turner's got it. One there. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Jordan Schaefer did his job in his first at-bat, laying down a successful sacrifice bunt. Well, a pretty productive at-bat last time, like you said, Matt. But right here with two outs, we're going to have to see if he can maybe find a gap and drive in a run. Chopped foul right at home plate. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Philly strand one as they're unable. Justin Bohr heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Smiley steps into the windup. Here's the nothing and two. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Into the box, Justin Turner. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And this ball sits sharply toward the first base coaching box. It's a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's 1-1. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, 2-1. To two and two now. Yeah, it's so hard to stay back against a guy like this. Unless you guess right, that thing's just so slow that it's almost impossible to keep from getting out on your front foot. No runs, just one hit. No errors to this point for the Indians. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Hit to first. Pierce has it. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. The batter number six. Ian Kinsler is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball here. 0-1. Set to deliver the 0-1. Bounce towards the second baseman. Robinson charging this one on to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. So a strong start on the mound. Luis Carrasco will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Luis, yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. Here comes the 1-0. 
high in the air out to center field. Pagan moves over, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting. Jackie Second Robinson Hanson. will step in. Jackie a ground out Robinson. victim as last time. Yeah, ground out last time, but you know with his speed, that's kind of a big part of the way he plays the game. Put the ball on the ground and force the defense He's to make up. a clean, quick play on him, because if they don't, he's safe. Throw on to first, takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Justin Upton will stand in now. A punch out victim twice already. EK, I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start become through it right past him a swing and a miss at the gas and that ends the inning Jay Bruce will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for a reversal of fortunes here the first five innings have not been particularly kind to them and I think that's putting it mildly just one hit in these first five innings they're gonna need to do a better job of finding good pitches to hit but that fellow on the mound has not made it easy on him and that's for sure and he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Still one and two as he fouls it away. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Todd Cole stands in for the second time. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Grounder down the line at third. Over to the first baseman, Pierce, and there are two gone now. Up next for Cleveland. Yosmani Tomas stands in for the second time. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. He's getting a lot of outs right now because he's attacking the hitters. He's not dancing around the zone. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate, and he will indeed make. Jose Bautista will stand in to lead things off here we in the Philadelphia Philly. sixth. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big time power. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. And it looks like the scouting report says, work this guy away, and it's been paying off. Uh, and whoever put together that scouting report did a real nice job because this whole team hasn't done much offensively at all. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. <laughs> if he would have swung at that, he would have never heard the end of it. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Now some movement in the tribe bullpen as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Off-speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Archer's ready, ready with the one-one pitch. One and two as he chases the slider. And this has been a common problem for all of these guys. They just can't lay off that pitch down and away. Grounded weakly toward third. Turner is there. In time to He's first, out. and there are two away. Up next for Philadelphia, Steve Pierce will stand in. A Steve strikeout victim his first time, and then a base hit last time around. Liner toward right center, and that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Michael Franco will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. First pitch on its way. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. 
Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for Philadelphia, but they're on top. Angel Pagan will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and a very even game through six innings. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Buster Posey will dig in. He's flown out and hit into a double play in two trips. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Now a left hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. Grounded down the third baseline. Over to the first baseman, Pierce, and there are two gone now. Up next for Cleveland. Ernie Banks will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. The cutter runs outside, ball one. Two out, nobody on. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at one and one. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. All the way here to start the at-bat. And that's fine, but you can't be afraid to work inside. You can jam this guy. Get him to roll over something. You don't have to strike him out. Hit down the third baseline. And now a jump throw against his he's body. Set. And he's safe at first. Boy, a great effort, but he wasn't able to get enough on that throw. And that'll be scored an infield single. Justin Bohr stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Low and away as he misses again. 2 and 0. 3 and 0 now. And he's got to be up there thinking, come on already. Give me something to hit. Nope. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring up position now three. with two away. Third baseman, Justin. High and Turner. deep to right. Back goes Bautista. Gone. A fence scraper, but still good for three runs. The batter number six, second baseman. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field as the Tribe has moved in front here three to two. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. I think he was trying to get that slider in on his hands, but... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, Leading off the inning, Eduardo Nunez, as they'll look Leading to get something going Billings. here and even this game up. Archer looks in. Here hey, comes the first pitch. Nunez. Weak chopper up the line. Going to be a tough play in the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. Now here comes the Cleveland skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. Tommy Hunter will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Quick check on that time run at first. And he'll get back in standing. Just keeping an eye on him. And they'll play for the tie here as he puts this one down. And a leap over at first, but he comes down with his foot on the bag to record the out. Whew. So striding in, number 55, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. 
Yeah, and when you're looking to run up and catch him by surprise, you're hoping it's going to be a fastball. Because when you get an off-speed pitch, it really kind of throws your timing off. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly now, so that tying run will be forced to hold on at third here, still with only one away. So stepping in, Jackie Robinson, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Bunt attempt, and it looks like a good one. Throw to first in time, but the safety squeeze there gets him a run. Justin Upton will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Swung on and hit deep to left center. Pagan going back on it. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Indians, number 43. A two-run home run off the bat of Justin Upton. And it's now 5-3. to three. Here comes the right fielder, Jose Batista. As he'll swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play. The 0-1 on its way. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. Boy, when he's got that thing going good, it just takes a nosedive right at the end. Swing and a miss as it's dropped behind the plate. Hosey's got it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Jay Bruce. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, it's a close ball game, but it's starting to get late. So they need to get at least one back here in this inning. Tap foul at home plate. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Trying to strike him out for the third time. That's Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. You start it in the zone, and hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. It turned out to be a good take. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Popped up. Smiley just to the right of the mound. Oh, he botched it. Right back at him and off his glove. Todd Coe will step in. He's lined out and grounded out in two trips. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. Todd Coe will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Now batting. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now is Manny Tomas. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. And you know, sometimes guys get caught up in thinking about being the big hero. The key here, though, is just keep it simple. See the ball, hit the ball. Usually the best results come with that mindset. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Angel Pagan comes to the plate Angel now, representing Pagan. the potential tying run. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Bautista on the run. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Alex Rodriguez strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Alex. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he had to be looking for something else to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. You've got to be a little more restrained here leading off an inning. That's a big run if you can get on base, and you don't want to give away an opportunity by chasing bad pitches. And he'll challenge A-Rod with the fastball and gets it by him. 0-2. High 
fly ball out to deep right field. Bruce looking up, and this one is gone. A home run. A solo home run here for Alex Rodriguez. His second of the game, and it's now 6-3. to three. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Yeah, same pitch here from the home run ball, but this one's in a much better spot down at the knees. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. Michael Franco ready to take Mike another Gallo. shot. Went down Franco. on strikes his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Here's the first pitch to him. In that's tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. He's set. Here comes the one-one. Hit softly on the ground to third. Turner bare hands it. He's out. Oh, woo. No problem. Matt Albers will get the call now as he'll try to get the final two outs here and get this one on to the ninth inning. Eduardo Nunez will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. Oh, and I think he might have thought about going to third the just for a fielder, second there, two, but he winds up thinking better of it Schaefer. and takes the sure out at first. Here comes the first pitch. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Back goes Bruce. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And to score is the runner from third. It's a 7-3 ball game. Luis Carrasco steps in to try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And that's a nice job. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Jackie Robinson steps into the box and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home in the inning so far. Drilled on the ground to short. Banks has got it. Throw on to second for the force in the side. Back in the city of brotherly love with Major League Baseball on the show. Buster Posey will start things off here in the ninth. No sign of the closer just yet here in a four-run ball game. Yeah, I think they'd love to get him a day off here. So they're going to hope that his services aren't required to finish this one off. And he misses again, 2-0. Well, one of the real strengths of his game is that he's not going to go after a whole lot of bad pitches out of the strike zone. So he's a guy that's going to make you earn it by only swinging at strikes. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Ernie Banks is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Credit where credit's due. This guy's done a good job out of the bullpen. No question. He's been able to hold that lead, and these guys really haven't threatened him at all. And another foul ball. One out, nobody on. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. Now batting, the first baseman, Justin Bohr. Justin Bohr is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Swing and a miss, and now the Tribe finds themselves down to their last strike. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Hit down the line at first. Not the largest crowd ever, but they're on their feet. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Yeah, what a nice job to come in here and finish this one off. And with that, he picks up career save number one. So nice going.
And the Phillies offensively here tonight were led by the exploits of this man, Alex Rodriguez. It may not be a rookie card, but it's valuable enough to be our 